between the height of the cot mm -hmm. because of that lagging leg. leg. Mm -hmm. Now he knows Baxter climb. Now he knows that he's going up on something which is mo much more distinguishable than what we were using, real shallow. Um, yes. So, and now he's, he's not going to do anything because mm -hmm. we just did it. So mm -hmm. in the beginning, we walked real close to the dog, clockwise, counterclockwise. I can add something to it now, Vicky. Until he understands I can't get off. Can I get you to mess up a little? No, 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 no. Good boy. And that would be a correction in this stage of the game. It's just saying, no, 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 I didn't like that. And guiding him back. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. And I want to emphasize I'm saying no, 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 no in a different way than most people are saying no, no. to the dog. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Good boy. And once he corrects himself, I let him know with a good boy. So back to the counterclockwise, I'm starting to increase the distance I get away from him. Always being ready, no, 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 to remind him to stay up there. They don't know the boundaries until you teach them. So once they understand that, he might, I might get a good one. I instruct people to drop the leash in front of them. Usually they have a six foot leash. No, no, no. No, no, no. Some think because you drop the leash, I can get off and not get up. Good boy. Break. Good job. Good boy. Yeah. Ready? Baxter. Fun. Now we're going to test you. In training, we talk about three Ds, duration, distraction, and distance. Once they get the concept, we want to start trying to distract them. No, 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 no. <laughs> so we want them to know anything that goes on around them, if they're on that place, they have to sit there no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. Reassuring that he's doing what I want him to do by just staying there. Break. Good job. Good boy. Yeah, going back to the leash handling. Get used to having him right here where you can control him. Imagine in a car and you have a steering wheel and you have to turn three times before the car starts turning. That's like having a leash way up here. Okay. So if I have a leash way up here, now as soon as I start turning, the car and the dog will turn. Well, you gotta come with me. So once you start doing more of this, having him follow you in a calm, frame of mind, this is what he starts giving more of. So if you're giving him a lot of attention for what he's doing that gets your attention, which is not good, his bad attention is good attention. Extra, let's go. This is something Antonio can do also. Just let him get to the end of the leash and say, no, I'm going this way. He said, oh, I'm tired. Baxter heel. Baxter heel. Once they get the hang of it, then we get more in, de in depth with where the heel position is, mm -hmm. you know, precisely. 
but right now it's just like I like to say follow the leader once he gets uh, a few steps then you can add on to it or critique it or do anything but you can't do it all at once mm -hmm. right Oh, and I bet you he would calm down the more the more you do this the more he's gonna calm down. Mm -hmm.